A new volcano warning. Why dormant volcanoes violently erupt after decades of being inactive? This is what a new study reveals. We've seen this recently with the one of the Kamchatka volcanoes. It was considered to be extinct and it was even taken off the volcano listing. And then they found that it was filled to the brim with lava and ready to erupt and they had to evacuate the towns surrounding that volcano of the Russian Kamchatka uh, Peninsula of the Ring of Fire. Now volcanologists unveiled how the monsters occasionally explode with unimaginable violence. Researchers can now understand what's responsible for this, uh, er these kinds of eruptions of long dormant volcanoes. The research was done by volcanologists of the University of Bristol and they reveal the role crystalline nanolites have. They're also so tiny, they're actually 10,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair, and they play an apocalyptic uh, role in the explosions. These nanolites have now been identified as secret ingredients behind violent eruptions of volcanoes that are otherwise placid and predictable volcanoes. Despite their small scale, they play a very significant role in the viscosity of the erupting magma, resulting in unexplained volcanic eruptions up to now. Dr. Danilo Di Genova of the University of Bristol was the lead author of this very groundbreaking study, and he explains this work has profound implications for studying some of the planet's best known volcanoes. He said, the discovery provides an eloquent explanation for violent eruptions of volcanoes that are generally well behaved, but occasionally present us with a deadly surprise such as the 122 BC eruption of Mount Etna in Italy. Volcanoes with low silica magma compositions have very low viscosity, which usually allows the gas to gently escape. But we've seen that nanolites can increase the viscosity for a limited time which would trap gas in the sticky liquid, leading to a sudden switch in behavior that was previously difficult to explain. Dr. Richard Brooker, also from Bristol's Earth Science Department, reveals how they reached their surprising conclusion in their statement. He says, we demonstrated the surprising effect of nanolites on magma viscosity and thereby volcanic eruptions using cutting-edge nano-imaging and Raman spectroscopy to hunt for evidence of these almost invisible particles in ash erupted during very volatile eruptions. And he says the next stage was to remelt these rocks in the laboratory and recreate the correct cooling rate to, pro to produce nanolites in the molten magma using the scattering of extremely bright synchrotron source radiation 10 billion times brighter than the sun, we were able to document nanolite growth, he says. He explains, we then produced a nanolite bearing basaltic foam, a pumice, under laboratory conditions, also demonstrating how these nanolites can be produced by undercooling as volatiles are explosive from magma, lowering the liquids. Now, Professor Heidi Mater, also involved in the study, thinks Volcano research may be one of the most important in recent decades. She said, by conducting these new experiments on analog synthetic materials at low shear rates relative to volcanic systems, we're able to demonstrate the possibility of extreme viscosities for nanolite bearing magma, extending our understanding of the unusual behavior of nanofluids, which have remained enigmatic since the term was coined 25 years ago. Now, these geologists suggest the next step is to model this dangerous, unpredictable volcanic behavior in real-life volcanic environments. This is on Express UK, a new finding by the University of Bristol and reported by Tom Fish. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, 
and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.